Yeah, so one thing Patrick can do now is he can, and what he did before today, today he can take the players out there, the skill position players, tight ends, running backs, wide receivers, and they can throw. Before this, he took them and he went over to another field. He couldn't do it here, so and then threw with them there. So, um, and there can't be any coaches there, so he's having to kind of be both. But the one thing he can do is work his timing. Um, he he goes back and he looks at everything film wise. I mean, he's got a film library and he goes back and he's evaluated everything. He's relentless that way, and and uh, so he's he's gone back through the the season a couple, three times and, and, uh, and looked at it. So I'm, listen, I mean, he's, he's pretty passionate about how he goes about his business. I try to kind of simulate it if there was a defense out there. So I, I would give the routes and then I'd give them based off certain coverage. Cause we run them differently compared to in the game. You get to kind of adjust on the fly. So I would say single safety middle zone, maybe your cover two and try to let the receivers run the routes, how they would run it versus that. And so we can build timing and things like that. So if you're going to do that, they're supposed to do too. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And it, it helps out a ton, I mean, from last year, learning all those things. And then to have veteran guys like Chris Conley and Ty, and Kelsey and all those guys that can help help explain the routes even better to me, and then it helps me get a better understanding of what they're thinking. Is it tough to issue corrections like a 22-year-old? <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, th that that's kind of goes to the thing where all these guys in the locker room want to get better. And so just as much as I'm listening to them, they're listening to me. And so we're trying to make each other better every single day. And when you have guys like that, you can kind of say things, and they listen to you, and they give feedback, and that's how you get better as a team. I don't want to compare me and him at 22 because he's <laughs> far, far long, um, far more long than I was. But it's um, I don't think that age is going to be something that, that we need to look at. I think it's just uh, the reps. Um, the more the more he gets acclimated with the playing, uh, not not so much style, but the speed of everything. I think that is going to be the biggest challenge for him for sure. I remember what he looked like in the preseason and just kind of the ease of which um, you know, he was getting things out and the big jump that he made towards the end of the season. And that's pretty impressive to do having not played. I mean, um, you know, if he had played all the games and that was the 16th game, that that would be something. But for that to be his first game and make that big of a jump. Um, you know, really says a lot about him. You know, he's made such leaps and bounds, but this is still his second year. And especially at that quarterback position, I think all of us know that we need to step up our game, our, our mental focus, because we, we were almost cheating with Alex back there because he was just such a, a computer. I mean, uh, he told everyone what to do. And I think Pat will be there at one point, and um, he wants to be there. Uh, but it's his second year, you know what I mean? And this will be his first real every game experience to go through. So uh, to help him out, we have to step our stuff up.